What's up guys, Austin from Builderworks here. Today we have a 2020 WRX that I'm gonna do a shifter plate and shifter bushing install. This will be good for the 2015 and up WRX platform. So let's get started. Now this WRX already has our short shifter assembly, which reduces throw by 35%, shortest on the market. But with adding a shifter plate, we'll reduce throw by a total of 55% compared to stock. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is remove the heat shield right above the exhaust system here. Next step, I'm gonna remove this transmission cross member here. There's two bolts here and then there's two larger bolts on the side. So next step, I'm gonna remove these four bolts as well as these two nuts and that'll allow me to drop the rest of the transmission mount. Next is removing this little shield here. It's just two 12 millimeter bolts. Next is removing this shield or cover right here. It'll be one, two, three, and four bolts. The fourth bolt is up above, which is gonna be a lot tougher to get to. I'll show you how to get to that one. So the fourth bolt that I told you guys about is up top here. Now I found it the easiest to reach around from the front. Now you can't even really see it, but you'll probably be able to see my finger here. It's right where my finger is. So what I do is I get in from the front of the transmission and I use a crescent wrench and get the box end of the wrench on here. And then being in the front, I have some clearance in the trans tunnel to, to use the wrench. You can see here, this cover right there is a bolt running in 90 degrees into the transmission. Next is removing these two retaining clips. This will allow the shifter cable to come out and out of the way. So I have a flathead screwdriver and another little chisel tool that I'll kind of use to, to wedge in here to pop this clip out. Now that the shifter plate is fully exposed, I'm gonna start by knocking out this roll pin. Now you wanna make sure you use the right size punch because it's actually two roll pins in one. You don't wanna go with too small of a punch or else it'll leave the larger roll pin still inside. To make it easier, you can shift it into the different gears and that'll allow you to align your punch better. All right, once the pin is out, we can go ahead and slide the shifter plate off of the shaft. Now, if your WRX has some mileage on it, this shaft, as well as the shifter plate, might be a little corroded. So you might have to get in there with the screwdriver or some other pry bars to try and pry it off of the transmission. But this is a 2020, so it came off fairly easy. Now to quick go over the two main differences between our shifter plate and the factory shifter plate. As you can see here, the distance between the two pivot points is a lot shorter than the factory. This will significantly change the throw of the shifts. And you can also kind of see here that our shifter plate is heavier than the factory shifter plate. This will allow throws to be a little bit easier, especially after we're shortening the throws. So let's keep moving. So before we install the new shifter plate onto the transmission, what I'm gonna do first 
is insert the roll pin into our shifter plate. This will just make it a lot easier when installing. I'm just gonna hold it here, the needle nose pliers. We wanna make sure that when inserting the pin into our shifter plate, it doesn't expose into the hole. So I have it started. I'm gonna knock it in a little bit more. Yep, that'll be perfect. Next, I'm just gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on this shaft. That'll just help the plate be removed. If you ever need to remove it, it'll just avoid any type of corrosion. Now we're ready to go ahead and install our shifter plate onto the shaft. Now we wanna keep in mind the direction of the through hole in the shaft. We wanna align that with our roll pin. So as you're hammering, you wanna take your time and wiggle a little bit just to make sure that it's guiding into the hole properly. And then you'll know it's hammered in the whole way when the pin is flush with the shifter plate. Next step is installing our billet work shifter bushing. That'll just slide right over our shifter plate. Now we're gonna take our shifter cable and we wanna make sure we remove the factory bushing. Now just pop out. And we'll just slide the shifter cable over our bushing there like that. Next is to insert this retaining clip back in. We wanna push as far forward as possible on the shifter cable so that the clip can slide in behind it. We'll push that the entire way in. Now we'll put the large washer back on and that other retaining clip. Next step is to reinstall this small cover that was here. Next is just reinstalling all of the transmission cross members. And last step is just reinstalling the heat shield. And of course, lastly, just make sure you go around, double check all your bolts, make sure everything's tight and we're good to go. Now that I've finished showing you how to install your Bill Work shifter plate and bushing, head over to our website to purchase, or if you've already purchased, Send us a review and tell us what you think. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.